Hello, I'm Christina McLean for East Lincoln High School and this is our 2019-2020 Awards Night. I know this is a little different than we have done it in the past, um, but that does not make these achievements of these students any less important. So please uh, join me in congratulating our students for academics, squ uh, sports, and CTE. Congratulations to the class of 2020 for working so hard throughout high school to get to this point and great job getting through this very unique ending to your senior year. This video celebrates students who have been awarded local scholarships uh, through organizations, businesses, and community colleges. But we also want to give a shout out to all those students who received academic and athletic scholarships. We are also very proud of you. Um, enjoy the video and make sure you stay tuned till the very end to hear the total amount awarded to the class of 2020. Enjoy. Congratulations to Haley Navarro for winning the Delta Kappa Gamma Scholarship for Future Teachers. Haley was nominated by East Lincoln and won at the district level. Haley will attend Western Carolina in the fall, majoring in inclusive education with an elementary education focus. Congratulations, Haley. Hello, I'm Miss Darling, the Career Development Coordinator. I just wanted to take a moment to recognize our apprentice. This student dedicated his senior year to on-the-job training, taking classes at CVCC, and taking classes at East. He will continue his paid on-the-job training and his degree in mechatronics at CVCC with a full ride scholarship. And at the end of his apprenticeship, he will be guaranteed job placement. Congratulations, Joseph Tiber, on your apprenticeship with Bloom. Congratulations to the following students on winning the GE Massey Newbold Scholarship worth $1,000. The first recipient is Amara Robinette. Amara is a member of many sports teams is the SGA president, excels in academics, and is a wonderful student overall. She plans to attend UNCG in the fall. Congratulations, Amara. The next recipient is Micaiah Roseboro. Micaiah is a member of the cheerleading squad. Micaiah wrote a quality essay that really moved the scholarship committee, and she will be attending Lenore Ryan University in the fall. Micaiah is a pleasure to have in class. Congratulations to both of these young ladies that I have had the privilege to teach. The Trey Whiteside Scholarship is in memory of Trey who had a fatal car accident at the age of 16. He was passionate about his friends, family, and church. We felt this recipient was a perfect candidate for the scholarship since she seems to have similar passions to Trey. We are happy to carry on the memory of Trey by helping others with the burden of college. Congratulations to Sarah Rooney. The Optimist Club scholarships are awarded to one male and one female each year who have been a member of the Optimist Club for at least one year. These two scholarships are awarded this year to Amara Robinette and Derek Martin. Beta Club at East is an academic honors club that promotes the ideals of academic achievement, character, leadership, and service. This year's Beta Club scholarship worth $500 goes to Anna Gonzalez. The High School Heisman Award is given to outstanding student athletes nationally um, and the winners are chosen by the organization. This year's High School Heisman Award goes to Gabby Beach. The Gaddy family awards this scholarship every year to one graduating senior in memory of their daughter and sister. Kate Gaddy was a freshman at East Lincoln when she died as a result of a car accident. Kate was a very special young lady. She was in the top of her class, was a creative and talented artist, a dancer and cheerleader for both East Lincoln High School and the national champion, Carolina Cats. Kate was a friend to all, loved life, and strived every day to live life to the fullest. The person selected to receive this scholarship this year has many of the same qualities that Kate possessed. She too lives life to the fullest, even in the midst of life challenges and difficulties. This recipient has been extremely involved in school activities, her church, and her community. Her life goal is to work to make life better for children. Above all, this recipient delights 
and being with family and friends, another quality of Kate's. Congratulations to this year's Kate Gaddy Memorial Scholarship winner, Kaylee Smith. Congratulations to the following student who won the Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizens Award. She was nominated by the East Lincoln High School staff as someone who fits the award description of patriotism, dependability, leadership, and service. Not only did she lead the Student of the Year LLS campaign to raise money for research, but at school she participated in fine arts classes and achieved at the highest level academically. This student will be attending NC State in the fall. Congratulations to Hope Katola. Congratulations to the next student who won the Candace Helms Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is in memory of Candace, who was a Southern Belle and had a heart of gold. They try to find someone with similar characteristics. Congratulations to Emily Jakes, who won the $2,000 Candace Helms Scholarship. Congratulations to Derek Martin for receiving the Willie Bradshaw Memorial Scholarship Regional Award. This scholarship, given in memory of Willie Bradshaw, provides financial support to outstanding African American, American Indian, Alaska Native, and or Asian Pacific Islander American or Hispanic American student athletes participating on sanctioned varsity teams at North Carolina High School Athletic Association member schools. Derek has been awarded $750 and is attending King's College. Congratulations to Ethan Martin for receiving the Dixie Youth Baseball Scholarship. Ethan was chosen from a group of outstanding young men and women for this award. He will receive $2,000 and attend Wingate University. Congratulations to Jason and Justin McGee for being selected to receive the North Carolina Scholarship for Children of Wartime Veterans. Jason and Justin were eligible for this scholarship based on their mom's service to our country and designation as a U.S. veteran. Jason and Justin both have extensive resumes detailing volunteering they have done for the Carolinas Freedom Foundation Patriotism Bowl and the Carolinas Freedom Foundation Salute to Veterans Parade. Four years of volunteering and their entrepreneurial spirit have earned Jason and Justin this prestigious scholarship. Jason and Justin will attend Western Carolina University in the fall and major in business. Congratulations to Emily Jakes for winning the State Employees Credit Union People Helping People Scholarship. Emily's dedication to her school and community were shared in her essay and application describing how she fits the theme of people helping people. Emily has volunteered over 70 hours for various organizations in Lincoln and Mecklenburg counties. She has a passion for volunteering at animal shelters and has made toys for animals waiting to be adopted. She is a role model in our school through leadership positions on the women's varsity basketball team and membership in a variety of academic and community service clubs. The purpose of the State Employees Credit Union's People Helping People Scholarship is to recognize student leaders in our schools and communities who have made a positive and lasting impact. The scholarship is awarded to a student who has a goal of working in the public sector one day and has parents currently working in the public sector. Emily plans to attend UNC Wilmington and major in nursing. She hopes to work with patients post-surgery to help them recover and transition home. Emily's parents work in public education. The State Employees Credit Union People Helping People Scholarship awards one student per high school $10,000 divided over four years. Congratulations to Emily on this outstanding accomplishment. We are presenting the AKP Gamer Scholarship in memory of my brother, Addison Kent Parrish, a standout four-year baseball and basketball player at East Lincoln Class of 2013. Addison possessed all the qualities of a true gamer. The Gamer Scholarship is awarded to a player who changes the atmosphere of a game. This gamer forces teams to change their game plan to contain them. A gamer makes an unplayable play and an unshootable shot. 
This gamer made other teams completely change their defense in order to keep him from scoring 50 points each game. I'm very happy to present this 2019-2020 Addison Kent Paris Gamer Scholarship to the fifth member of my 2019 Four Horsemen basketball team, Justin Kuthan. Hello, I'm Tom Parker, and this is my wife, Kelly, who will be presenting the Amber Parker Memorial Scholarship. In May of 2018, our 24-year-old daughter, Amber, was diagnosed with a rare and aggressive form of ovarian cancer. Amber was a 2012 graduate of East Lincoln High School and a 2016 graduate of Western Carolina University. She fought for six and a half months with grace determination and dignity. Completing six rounds of chemo in Charlotte and stem cell treatments at Duke University Hospital. On November 18th, she lost her battle with ovarian cancer. We formed Amber's Army to support her during the treatments and now we continue with the nonprofit organization Amber's Army Incorporated to fund local student scholarships contribute to ovarian cancer research and to donate to other worthwhile causes. Our primary fundraiser is an annual golf tournament held at Cowan's Ford Golf Club. The support from this community continues to be overwhelming. So today we honor the memory of Amber by presenting scholarships to five East Lincoln High School seniors. The recipients of four $1,000 scholarships are Hope Catola, Mirabelle Peterson, Patrick Riley, and Amar Robinette. And the recipient of our top scholarship in the amount of $2,000 is Micaiah Roseboro. Please join us in congratulating these five deserving graduates. We started Fight With Me to honor the memory of our daughter, Miranda Eckerd. Though her experiences were limited due to cancer, she truly loved being a Mustang. It was something she had looked forward to since the first grade. When we choose recipients, we look at many qualities, character, athletics, and academics being a few. Each year, it gets more and more difficult to choose, and this year was no exception. Last year, we added honorees who do not receive a scholarship, but are recognized for standing out in at least one of those categories. This year's honorees are Taylor Barino, Emily Jock, and Kaylee Smith. For the first time, we have four scholarship recipients who will each receive $2,500. Congratulations to Kaysen Cox, Hope Catola, Gabby Leach, and Blair Rush. Thank you. Hi, East Lincoln seniors. This is Mary Franks, sheltering in place at my home in Las Vegas. Um, it is my great honor to present the, the Gwen Stroud uh, SALT, S-A-L-T, scholarship in memory of my daughter Gwen. This SALT award, the qualifications were to recognize an East Lincoln senior who exemplifies the following qualities as a student athlete, sports achievement, excelling in more than one sport, academics above average academic achievement, leadership, shown through involvement in sports and other school or community or church activities, team spirit and sportsmanship, exhibiting outstanding sportsmanship and conduct, displaying positive attitudes and spirit of teamwork with coaches and teammates and exemplifying fair play with opponents. The, the girls who uh, apply for this scholarship are all so very de deserving of this award. I see so much of Gwen in them, and uh, their parents should be so proud of them and their achievements and the women that they are growing up to be. I just thank you for all of you who applied, and I wish you Godspeed. But today, or tonight, we are honoring one of your senior classmates, and she truly embodies all the things that I saw in Gwen and that we are just so happy and proud to recognize her for this award. Um, 
And with no further ado, I would like to present this award to Amara Robinette. God bless you and keep you and make his face to shine upon you and just bless you and all of your classmates as you move from this time in high school and the days of coronavirus into a brave new world. Go out and make it your own and do your best. And God bless. Thank you. More specifically, good morning, Senior Mustangs Class of 2020. First, let me tell you how proud we are of each and every one of you and the way you've handled yourselves during this extremely difficult situation. I know this is not what you thought your typical senior year was going to be. It's not what any of us thought your typical senior year was going to be. But the way you've carried yourself with grace and dignity has made us all the more proud to call ourselves Mustangs. So for that, I commend you. With that being said, please know that I, we wanted to give these awards out during the award ceremony and shake hands and hug the three of you. But alas, this is the situation and we are equally as honored to be giving them out now. So with that being said, each year, the Sports Boosters offers three scholarships to outstanding student athletes. And this is the criteria that is used to select, nominate and select the winners. First, the athlete must have participated in at least two sports during their senior year. Second, the athlete must be a well-rounded student athlete who performed in the classroom as well as in their sports. The athlete must lead by example, be a role model to their peers, and be held in the highest regard by their teachers and coaches. And the athlete must be college bound for the upcoming fall year. Once nominated, the coaches vote to select a female athlete, a male athlete, and a sports booster member athlete. Each of these athletes will receive a $1,500 scholarship payable to them prior to their freshman year. We will provide a letter to them with direction on how to receive their payment. Of the nominees, I am pleased to present these awards to the following outstanding student athletes. Female athlete, Taylor Barrymore, member of our varsity swim team and women's varsity soccer team, Taylor will attend Lees McRae in the fall to continue her education and soccer career. Our male athlete, Ethan Martin, varsity football and varsity baseball player. Ethan will attend Wingate in the fall where he will continue his education and football career. Sports Booster member athlete, Derek Martin, varsity football and varsity baseball player. He will attend King University in the fall where he will continue his education and baseball career. Congratulations to each of you. This has truly been an honor to see you grow this year. We would like to thank all our Mustang athletes for contributing to the athletic program at East Lincoln and making it the phenomenal program that it is today. Good luck. Thank you to all of the community organizations who've offered these wonderful opportunities to our seniors. And for those that won, please note that there are still some scholarships that have not chosen winners yet, so there will be more announced. Um, and wanted to let you guys know that 119 scholarships were offered to our senior class. Uh, there is a very comprehensive list that will be hung up in the front office with everyone's name and scholarship that was offered. Um, if you did not tell me that you won a scholarship, it is not too late to tell me and I will add you to this list. And a grand total offered to the class of 2020, I know it's backwards, but $6,107,680. That's six million, over $6 million of scholarship dollars awarded to the class of 2020. We are so proud of you. Congratulations on this great accomplishment and make sure you guys come back and visit. Hello Mustangs and congrats to the 2020 graduating class. I'm Coach Matilde, Athletic Director at East Lincoln High School and I'll be presenting our athletic awards. Uh, we definitely missed all of you. What an absolute great start to the 2019-20 athletic school year with the most unusual finish. 
We had a lot of excitement as we kicked off our fall sports this year with our football team going undefeated at home and finishing the regular season 8-3. and three. Senior Ethan Martin captured the Defensive Player of the Year in the conference and helped lead us. <clears throat> Volleyball continued their dominance on the court, led by Conference Player of the Year senior Gabby Leach. Both cross-country teams battled throughout the season with our entire men's team qualifying for the state championship meet led by senior Noah Lesser. Our young tennis team had a strong season and our girls golf team for the first time in a while qualified for regionals as a team, led by Sofia Laliberte leading the way in qualifying for states. Last but not least, our conference champion 2A Western Regional Champion and state runner-up soccer team, led by a host of seniors Logan Gilly, Chase Gilly, Gilly Tyler Swanson, Pearson Cunningham, to name a few, made a historic run breaking many school records on their path. By the end of the season, it looked like a conference football game broke out with record-setting crowds for soccer. Our winter sports continued the excitement. We had a lot, had our student section in full force. We got to watch our girls' basketball team, led by senior Brianna Tadlock, continue to grow throughout the year and dominate many of their opponents, especially in county play. Our wrestling team got off to this, uh, got after it this all season and paid dividends as this young team made a name for itself and will certainly carry the momentum into next year. Guys like Hines, Cannon, Brooks, and Smith had a strong showing in regionals and continued with confidence into the state, all placing. Our swim teams under a new coaching staff really took off from where they left off last year with senior Taylor Barano capturing the female swimmer of the year to lead our women's squad and our conference men's all-conference men's swimmer Jordan Fisher leading the way for the men's team. As always, our men's basketball team did not disappoint, led by conference play of the year senior Justin Kuthan. Although they fell short of another conference title, they did show their growth and grit, winning the conference tournament championship and making another deep run into the playoffs. In my eyes and many around, our spring sports were in position to dominate the field this year. Our golf team, returning nearly everyone from one of the most successful seasons a year ago, showed a lot of promise in their two early matches. Our men's and women's track team had the most participation we've had in years, showed very well in their first two meets. Baseball returned the bulk of the young roster from a year ago with finally having some pitching led by senior Ty Cobb and Jordan Fisher set to go. Our men's tennis team was in a crucial rebuild year after dominating a year ago with a very young roster. Our girls soccer team was set for a run, returning the bulk of a young roster from a year ago, led by record-setting senior Taylor Barano. Minus the coaches and players themselves, nobody was more excited than me to see where our softball team would have gone this year. Led by seniors Davis, Irwin, Summy, Tress, and Helms, all college signees, nobody will ever know, but there are some teams that got lucky not having to face them. Thank you to our admin, our coaches, our athletes, parents, and fans. Seniors, good luck on all of your future endeavors. Go Mustangs. Now for our awards. The Male Sportsman of the Year. <clears throat> this young man played football and baseball. Is Derek Martin, senior. In football, he was a three-year letterman. This year, starting at offensive tackle all 12 games. In baseball, he's a three-year letterman. His season was cut short, but off to a good start. He started at first base and hit in the four hole. From his coaches, from Coach Matil, Derek has been a past winner of our Mustang Award. He's a fantastic kid with a big heart. He leads by example. He is a hard worker, well respected by his teammates, an absolute pleasure to be around. From his positional coach, Coach Bren, Derek has played O-line for me for four years. Derek is a phenomenal young man. He is a very coachable athlete and wants to do well at whatever he's asked to do. He's one of those players you never have to get on for slacking off in practice, much less games. Every question is answered with a yes sir or no sir. Derek is one of those kids that makes everyone around him better for being there. He always has a positive, upbeat attitude. He is just fun to be around. And from his head football coach, Coach Lubowitz, Derek was a great effort guy with loads of natural talent and a pleasure to have as a student and athlete. Congratulations, Derek. Well deserved. Now for our female sportsman of the year. This young lady participated in tennis, girls basketball, basketball indoor track, and outdoor track. It is Amara Robinette, senior. Uh, in basketball, her career totals ended up being 240 points, 271 rebounds, 50 steals, 32 assists, 6 box shots, and 17 charges taken. In tennis this season, she finished up 1-0 and in double matches. And in track this season, she qualified for the indoor state track meet, finishing 19th overall in 1A and 2A. She also finished first in shot put in her only two meets in the spring season. From her basketball coach, Amara has always been a team player for us. She has dedicated four years of, to our varsity program as a member of the 2017 uh, South Fork 2A Conference Championship team at East Lincoln High School. Amara is a two-time winner of our East Lincoln Lady Mustangs 1% Award. 
and from her tennis coach, Coach Mackle. Amara played on the tennis team for three years. At the end of nearly every match, a positive comment on Amara's character would come from either opposing players or coaches, and I think that counts a lot. I count Amara as one of the better examples of sportsmanship and character that has ever been on this team. She was always in good spirits, willing to assist with anything from being an example on the court, during drills, or volunteering to help. Congratulations, Amara. Now on to our male athlete of the year. This young man played football and baseball. Ethan Martin, senior. In football, he dominated this year. All-conference, defensive player of the year for the South Fork 2A. He was a team MVP, uh, had high career totals. In baseball, his season was cut short but started off with a bang. One outing on the mound, two innings pitched with four Ks. Offensively, had, 1, 000, uh, had a 1,000 on base percentage and had a key hit versus East Rutherford in the bottom of the sixth. From his coaches, uh, from me, I had the privilege to coach Ethan in both sports. Ethan is a hard worker, very committed to the process, and when he is on the field, no matter the competition, he puts you in a better position to win the game. He is very respectful, team captain, gets along very well with his peers, and very re well respected by his coaches. He has had a great four years, and anyone that has been around this kid can speak of the growth he has made during his time here. And from his football coach, Coach Lubowitz, two-way player that had the natural ability to allow his attitude and athleticism to lead his peers on and off the field. Congratulations, Ethan. Well deserved. And now to our last award, the Female Athlete of the Year. This young lady swam and played soccer. Taylor Barano, senior. In soccer, Taylor is a four-year starter. She's been a team MVP her junior year. Uh, and was probably on set to be it this year as well. She's all conference from her freshman through her junior year. Uh, and her junior year, she set the single season scoring record. And despite only playing four games this spring, Taylor set the career scoring record at East Lincoln High School by netting her 70th goal. She's heading to Lees McCray College next fall. In swimming, she led the swim team as a captain for the past three years. Made all state as a swimmer this year. 2020 South Fork 2A Conference Female Swimmer of the Year, and All-Conference Swimmer and All-Regional Swimmer all four years. From her soccer coach, Coach Dragoon, she's a fantastic athlete, very accomplished here at East Lincoln High School. Very well deserving of this honor. This spring, Taylor scored eight goals in the first three games of the season to lead us to a 3-0 mark in Week 1. She netted one in a 2-1 win over Shelby, all three in 3-0 win over Polk, and all four in a 4 win over Cata which led us to our first tournament title since 2007 and gave her the career scoring record with 70 goals in just three years and three games. Congratulations, Taylor. Taylor, well deserved. Hello once again. As the English Department Chair, it is my huge pleasure to announce the following winners for the English Department. In English Excellence in English One, we have Eric Lynn and Virginia Overbay. For Excellence in English 2, we have Deanna Poteet and Eric Runyon. For Excellence in English 3, we have Cheris Clark and Amy Turbyfill. And for Excellence in English 4, we have Lindsay Jones and Mirabelle Peterson. For our AP Awards, for AP Lang, we have Sarah Wilkins. And for AP Literature, Sophie Huffman. Congratulations, everybody. Hi, I am Mr. Dragoon, and this is Mrs. Dragoon. And we're here to present the Math Awards for the class of 2020. The Most Improved Math Student Award goes to Chloe Rapp. The Freshman Math Awards go to Eric Lynn and Laura Zakarowskis. The Sophomore Math Awards go to Deanna Poti and Andrew Perdue. The Junior Math Awards go to Sarah Wilkins and Zach Whaley. This year's Senior Math Awards go to Hope Catola and Sarah Goodwin. And now for the AP Awards. The AP Calculus AB Award goes to Christian Hart. And the AP Calculus BC Award goes to Nathan Thompson. This year's AP Stat Award goes to Ethan Staples. And our Math Excellence in Mathematics Award, leaving here with a cumulative math GPA of 95.571, over his four years is Ethan Staples. Congratulations, Ethan, and congratulations all of our Math Award winners. The following awards are for students who have demonstrated uh, aptitude and excellence in the sciences. First, for physical science, we have Samuel Brooks. 
For excellence in earth and environmental, we have Brandon Lefevers. For biology, we have two, Virginia Overbay and Andrew Perdue. For physics, we have Ethan Staples. For chemistry, Andrew Perdue. For anatomy, Ashley Dellinger Maddox. And then for the AP awards, for AP chemistry, we have Cody Snyder. For AP biology, Christian Hart. For AP Earth and Environmental, Griffin Carroll. Congratulations, students. You guys have really earned this. Hello, my name is Kel Thornburg, and I'm a member of the History Department here at East Lincoln High School. And I'm here to present our awards for the 2019-2020 uh, school year. For our Freshman World History Award, we are proud to recognize Ka uh, Caleb Diffley. For our Civics and Economics Awards, we recognize Mallory Bell and Abigail Sheldon. For our U.S. History Awards, we recognize Christian Hart and Gordon Jordan Gromlich. For our, uh, now for our U.S. History AP Award, we recognize Andrew Kleiner. For our AP European History Award, we recognize Lindsey Jones. For our AP World History, we recognize Joseph Berry. For our AP Psychology Award, we recognize Ana Gonzalez. And for our AP Government Award, we recognize Andrew Perdue. On behalf of the History Department, congratulations everybody. We've missed seeing you here at the school. The following students have demonstrated excellence and mastery in foreign language and in the fine arts. For Spanish 1, we have Andrew Perdue. For Spanish 2, we have Cody Snyder. For the Advanced Spanish Honors Award, we have Kelly Jorgensen. And for the Outstanding Students in Fine Arts, we have Hope Catola and Nayeli Tinajero Resendez. Congratulations, guys. You really earned this. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Darling, the Career Development Coordinator, and I'm here to present the 2019-2020 Career and Technical Education Awards. Our first award is Outstanding Student in Adobe Academy. And we actually have three students worthy of this award, and they are Cameron McGee, Jason McGee, and Justin McGee. Congratulations. Our next award is the Nursing Fundamentals Fall CNA Award. We have Micaiah Roseboro, Remy Wenzel, and Haley Puntek. Our next award is the Nursing Fundamentals Spring Outstanding Students Award, and that goes to Destiny Contrell and Adamary Avendado. Our next award is the Food Senior Achievement Award, and that goes to Haley Navarro. The next one is our Family and Consumer Science Award, and that goes to Autumn Caymans. Our CTE Health Science Award goes to Abby Callahan. The Microsoft Academy Award goes to Elizabeth Eatman. Our Horticulture Award goes to Destiny Cantrell. Our Outstanding Computer Science student at LCST goes to Ryan Curley. Our Outstanding Interior Design student at LCST is Samantha Ross. Our Outstanding Apparel and Textile Production student at LCST is Zoe Bartholomew. Our Above and Beyond student in SciViz and Game Art Design is Chelsea Hicks. Congratulations to all of our Career and Technical Education winners. Greetings from the home of the Mustangs. This is Mrs. Avery, Principal of East Lincoln High School. Today, I have the honor of recognizing two students for the Principal's Award. This first student is Grace in Action. She is pleasant, she accepts changes, she adapts to situations, and wears a smile on her face the entire time. She is polite, and she is school-spirited, and she's just a joy to be around. She's kind to others, and um, I would like to recognize Gabrielle Leach as the first recipient of the Principal's Award. Congratulations, Gabrielle. This student is an old soul. He is mannered well beyond his years. And whenever I see him, he takes the time to stop and to greet me and to ask how I am. He is 
um, recognized by our student body um, as a person to look up to and he is going to do very well in his future. So I would like to recognize Justin Kuthan for the Principal's Award. Congratulations, Justin. This concludes our award ceremony. On behalf of my school and myself, I wanna thank and congratulate every single one of you guys for a really incredible school year. I know that it was cut short and it wasn't exactly what everybody was hoping for, but I know that we will remember all of our seniors in particular um, and everybody who comes back and sees us next year. Congratulations, everybody once again on your awards. Stay safe out there.